How's it going, everybody? My name is B, and welcome back to your altcoins. Today, we're going to take a look at my top 10 picks for coins that you should be holding on to from now until January 1st, 2019. At number 10, we have Internet Node Token, a brand new coin on the market with a very tiny market cap of $97 million. You ask why Internet Node Token? If you have any faith in the Internet of Things concept, if you have any faith, in IOTA, which sits right here at number 10 on the charts at a cap of $7.7 .7 billion. If you have any faith in that concept, you might be interested in Internet Node Token. They are following in the footsteps of IOTA, trying to create a platform to help organize the Internet of Things. And even if they never reach the lofty heights of IOTA at a market cap of only $97 million, even if this only reaches one-tenth of IOTA, you're looking at a massive return on your investment. This coin is coming to you out of China. You can find it on Oak EX, Coin Egg, Cool Coin, and Ather Delta. And one of the reasons I'm very bullish on INT are some of their highly recognizable partners. And that's a very good sign. At number nine, we have Trade Token. I've spoken about this on the channel before. Market cap of only 60 million. These first few coins have very low market cap, so keep that in mind. Trade Token is going to be the token of use on the new trade platform coming out in April called Trade.io, very similar to Binance Coin or KuCoin. So if you think that Trade.io has what it takes to be a decent platform in the future, going from a $60 million market cap to something like a $600 million market cap, which is still only half of what Binance Coin can offer you, could be a very good bet. This coin is available on OKEX and Gate.io. I like their very clean website. I like the fact that they're doing a liquidity pool, which will be a return on investment as you invest in trade tokens. And I also like that the Trade.io exchange is launching in April of this year. So trade token, $60 million market cap. I like this price a lot right now until 2019. At number eight, we have Deep Onion. I've spoken about Deep Onion in the past. I love the market cap at 46 million. This is a privacy coin. I feel this could easily reach a $500 million market cap in 2018. Available on Cryptopia and KuCoin, some of the most popular exchanges right now. This is easily accessible for many people. I also like that they're going to be putting Deep Onion on more exchanges in quarter two of 2018. So the first three coins we talked about had very small market caps and therefore give you plenty of explosive vertical growth potential. Moving right along at number seven, we have Poet. I am very bullish on this coin. I'm very bullish on the concept that Poet is trying to solve. I like the market cap of 288 million, big enough to be a serious contender, but not nearly so big that there's no room for growth. Poet is available on Binance and KuCoin, giving it plenty of visibility. And Poet is trying to solve the problem of tracking the ownership of digital creative assets, whether that is written, whether that is podcast, whether that is video. It is trying to create a way through blockchain to have ownership of your online creative assets. At an individual price of 13 cents, that will attract very amateur investors who like the thought of having a cheap individual coin. And again, market cap of 288 million. I like Poet moving forward. At number six, we have Enigma, a project I'm very fond of because of the team behind it. Market cap of about just under 400 million. Again, plenty of room to grow to get to that 1 billion or 2 billion market cap range. Available on Binance and Bittrex, two of the biggest exchanges, so lots of visibility. Enigma is trying to solve the problem that many big coins have right now, which are two things, scalability, and privacy. This team is filled with MIT graduates and tons of people with lots of experience. At number five, we have Binance Coin. I am very bullish on the Binance platform. Every time they open the doors to brand new registrations, they do 250,000 new users in an hour. This platform, as soon as they can get more hardware and more service space to allow more users, is going to explode further, and it's already the number one option for anyone trading in US dollars in North America. Couple all of that with the fact that the Binance coin itself makes all of your transactions on the exchange cheaper by half, and you have a very popular coin. Market cap 1.4 billion, obviously available on Binance. I am very bullish on the Binance platform, and therefore I'm very bullish on the Binance coin moving forward as the number one destination for trading in North America. At number four, we have Cardano. A lot of the next choices you're going to see in this top 10 list have one thing in common, and that is they are all platforms for creating additional cryptocurrency. 
I am very bullish on the business to business space, the B2B space right now. I feel that cryptocurrency is too early in its creation and too early in its adoption to really apply to B2C, which is business to consumer or customer. Cardano right now, its $16 billion market cap is built entirely on the hype that they are creating a platform to create other cryptocurrencies and to be the support structure for other cryptocurrencies. So once they launch their product, I feel this price is going to shoot up. I believe the value of Cardano is going to increase so long as the ICOs built on Cardano are worth investing in. At number three, we have NEO, which is so hot right now. There are some great ICOs being built on the NEO platform. The market cap of NEO is one tenth that of Ethereum. And I believe there's plenty of room to grow so long as NEO continues to produce great ICOs that people are attracted in. Because remember, again, if you want to get in on some of these ICOs, you have to buy in with the cryptocurrency that it was built upon. So NEO at number three at a market cap of 9 billion, that may seem high, but moving forward, as cryptocurrency begins to grow and these platforms continue to grow, I believe there's still plenty of vertical room for something like NEO. Neo, much like Cardano before, it, is available on all the big players, Binance, Bitfinex, Bitrix, etc. At number two, we have the big platform, which is Ethereum, market cap of $100 billion. There are countless, countless ICOs being built on Ethereum. Right now, it is still the big daddy when it comes to platforms. And as the cryptocurrency market goes up, Ethereum will continue to go up. It will continue to have staying power. It will continue to have longevity. So early on in our top 10, we had coins that had a lot of risk, had a lot of reward, but towards the top of this top 10 list, we're looking at coins with some staying power, with some longevity. Coins that are gonna be here until 2019, are gonna be here until 2020 and beyond. And Ethereum, at $1,000 may seem like a lot of money and a market cap of $102 billion may seem like a lot of money. But if you believe in the cryptocurrency concept, and if you believe that even more big players and big institutions are gonna move into cryptocurrency, they're gonna move into the big guys, things like Ethereum and things like our number one coin. And our number one coin to invest in in 2018 to hold until 2019 and beyond is Bitcoin. Like it or not, this is still the gold standard of cryptocurrency. When your average consumer thinks about cryptocurrency, they think about Bitcoin first. When your institution thinks about cryptocurrency, they're talking about Bitcoin. If somebody wants to get into the cryptocurrency market and exchange cryptocurrency for altcoins, they have to go through Bitcoin first every single time. All other cryptocurrencies are held to the Bitcoin standard and they're traded against Bitcoin predominantly. We've already seen Bitcoin once go over $20,000 and there is a fantastic chance that over the course of 2018, Bitcoin is gonna clear $25,000 or more. Where do I see Bitcoin going in the next year, the next three years, the next five years? I still see this as the gold of cryptocurrency. And what I mean by that is I see it as a store of wealth that the wealthy not the rich, the wealthy are going to hold on to Bitcoin because of its consistency. And this is my number one coin to hold moving forward in 2018. So that was my top 10 list of cryptocurrencies to buy for 2018 to hold until 2019. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with my picks? Do you disagree with my picks? Do you have any of your own picks that you think I should have talked about? Are there coins I shouldn't have had on this list that you absolutely think are worthless? Let me know in the comments down below. I am itching to hear your opinions. And as always, thank you very much for watching.